Grimsby to glory save. Try and recover ourselves. But this guy, William Harper, five star weak foot, four star skills. I think this is the best team I am gonna play. Of course, I'm gonna change some position around. I'm gonna make the players happy and everything. And it's a huge, huge game. Rose, Rose, I see that run out from Hewitt, but it's gone through to Scannell by mistake, and Scannell puts it in the top bins. However, though, they could be on for a goal here. What a tackle! But he's still gone in. And it's now Elliot Hewitt who gives it into right. Come on, boys. Let's get going. It's Jackson Jr. through the middle. And it's a great... Port Vale, can the catchers? They can. As Grimsby Town have got themselves into League One. I am sorry if I have screamed my head off. It's his first trophy we've won as well. As Grimsby Town have won. The League One playoff final. What are you playing at, mate? As Dow gives it to Rakeem Harper to hit first time. And it's guaranteed it has to be. Roared them up at half time. It's through to Sandoro again. And it's 3 3. Dayan, please put it in that top bin. Please put it in that top bin. Make a good move here. It's a good one from Antonio. He's got a good touch on it as well. And he puts it in off the post. That could sink it, you know. Have come back to be champions of the championship. As Fraser Forster lifts it on his last game in professional football. Here we are. Stamford Bridge. A big game. Chelsea, of course, just beat Manchester City the other day. Leapfrog us with a win, but no chance. As Harper, good turn. Kimbempe isn't close. And Harper into the roof of the net. Do win the game, though, which is perfect. Keep going, Dale Fry. You've been solid. Apart from that last tackle, as just keep it a little bit. I feel sorry for Dino as well, with no clean sheet, but it is three points. I'm going to go ahead and play it straight away. No stop. The last game of the season, it's not like we're against someone else to win the league. We're literally against the only team who is above us. Stand him up as he's got the ball back in the middle and Valverde scores. Ooh. Harper give it around the corner, Cantwell tap that in, and he's got a goal, come on! To Todd Cantwell, Cantwell, step away, Harper, throw a goal! Yes, people, it is here. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment we have all been waiting for after a year in the Vanarama National League. Grimsby Town are back. Welcome back, people, to the first save here on FIFA 23 on the MWS channel. If you're new around here, of course, consider subscribing and leaving the video a like before we even get started, as always, with the promotionals. As if you're a fan of this channel for a while right now, you know which team I support. Grimsby Town, you know I speak about them, the relegation and everything. But today we start episode number one of season number one of the road to glory here on FIFA 23. Now it's our first save here on this game and I am very, very excited. Very excited. As you can see the match facts playing in Cleethorpe. So we've got the new kit. Speaking of them, the beautiful My Energy sponsor, the new ownership, the new regime and everything as we have 1.6 to spend. We've got almost as much as the club worth at the moment. We've got the expectations on screen. Here we are, one star. We've got the new badge, 1878. We're very much buzzing. Let's get straight into this. And I hope you guys enjoyed the graphics as right here, we've made the stadium. Blundell Park, we've got the red seats, the iconic red seats, the white touchings on the outside, the black roof, which the ball always gets lost on as I'll come with many facts through this save, you'll soon see. Let's just, let's get into it. And if you are a reoccurring viewer of this channel, you do probably pick up that I do like my realism, as these are the settings that we're going with. I do not want international job offers. This is a road to glory. I intend in taking Grimsby Town, my club, all the way to the Premier League, which hopefully happens in real life. Hey, you never know, as we're going to have three minute halves that are now in FIFA. FIFA 23, new game, hello, as we've got the uh, sterling currency, strict transfers I always love, and we're not cheating with the money. As here we are, this is the first thing we'll see. The new manager stepping out, it's Max Wadler who returns, the fresh trim, the little stubble, 
the Grimsby shirt, as we intend on having a very good reign here, as we'll go for, we'll go for the European Shield, Port Vale, Cheltenham Town in that, of course they're in um, the league above us, IRL, as it's a new menu as well, absolutely love to see it, as I'll take you through the team and everything in a second, we've got, well I've managed to find out how you open the inbox, wasn't too hard as European Shield information, uh, transfer market information, we're left all on our own to making transfers, we've got the Youth Academy, Visions and expectations, which we'll get onto, which I think we'll start with. As you can see right here, the confidence rating at an 80. Very, very high. As Let's go through it. Youth development. Within two seasons, I have one player from the Youth Academy in the starting 11. I like realism. I'm going to try and do that. We've had many in the past do it. Harry Clifton. Um, we've signed four new lads up. I'm not going to go through and name them all. Max Wright was one who has unfortunately left the club. As brand exposure, get 20 games with at least one goal scored. We're going to go for that. No continental success so far. Domestic, avoid finishing in the bottom half. Of course, we are newly promoted. We came out from the National League, which was a brilliant run, by the way. That wants to reach the round of 16 of the FA Cup, which will be difficult. Two seasons mid-table. I'd like to do that sooner. And financial, make 12.9 million profit from youth player sales within two seasons. That'll be more difficult, but we'll try and strive towards it. And speaking of those youth players, we don't really, we don't really at all have one of those standout players. I mean, Lucas Terry looks okay, but he's training as a goalkeeper, even though his stats are... Really good for a non-goalkeeper. That's a weird one. Yeah, the 71 speed makes me think he's an outfield player. Five-star weeks up, four-star skills. Can't change his position. That's a weird one, EA. So we don't really have the homegrown talent, really, that you do get on career modes. Which, to be fair, I don't mind. It's a bit of a challenge without them, as we're getting players into scout like that. As I'm also going to go to the squad hub and walk you through the current players at this team. Of course, I really do... Love some of these players. We've just been promoted, so I don't think I'll be changing the squad up completely. Yes, the ratings won't be the highest. We improve our players. We're not just going to replace them straight away. As Max Crocker, my namesake in goal, the New Zealand player. Very, very good goalkeeper. A big fan of him, as unfortunately James McEwen, who if you watched the last games you save I did, two years back now, or just one, but two FIFAs back. Um, he unfortunately moved on. Hearts got him. As Ollie Batters bit is the backup. Only two keepers. Could do with another one. As Anthony Glennon. Gleno is our crucial left wing back. He's even got an in-game face, which I love to see at Grimsby. As Danny Amos is the backup. Northern Ireland. Don't really think he is. I think FIFA's just changed his nationality. As Luke Waterfall, captain, leader, legend. The thumbnail for this video. Of course, him lifting the trophy. And he will stay as the captain for... Now in the foreseeable, as uh, Andy Smith is on loan from Hull, the neighbours, a very good player as well in the defence, not a good rating for him however, as Shawnee Pearson's higher but he is the backup along with Jamie Bramwell, a youth player, Neil Meyer has just come to the club, he'll be pushing into the team from Halifax, as uh, Michi Efate. Was a big fan of this guy. I'm a big fan of this guy. Still feel like a right back could be the shout for one of the players we bring in. Of course, got time to decide. The uh, Republic of Congo player, I think. As a uh, Jordan Cropper, long throw merchant. In-game face as well. Bryn Morris is a player who sits in front of the defence and is a very solid player. Out with a hamstring in real life. As Braithwaite's coming through the academy. Kiernan in on loan from fellow rivals in this league. Warsaw we will try and use him, but... Maybe not too much with the permanent players we've got. Evan Curry follows me on Instagram. And of course, a youth player who we're going to try and play. Kieran Green, another one from Halifax. Houlihan, the Irish Perlo. Harry Clifton, one of our own. Amazing, versatile player as Alex Hunt's just come along. Really good player. Signed on permanently after his loan. Stephen Wern's come from Sunderland. And this guy. If you don't know who John McAtee is. He's now gone to loot and he's on loan at Grimsby Town, but, but, this guy will be used to a tremendous effect. Let's see by the thumbnail, he is a huge player and will be for this team, even though on loan. As Jordan Maguire drew, not always playing in real life, but I'm going to give him a shot, of course. Good rating, as Otis Khan's a new player, who I definitely want to give a shot as well. Ryan Taylor is our striker, he's ageing. As Danilo also is a bit younger, and Peppel, who's on loan from uh, Luton as well, but not really high rated, so 
a striker could be an option as Lewis Richardson's come on loan from um, Burnley along with K.A. Simmons who's uh, come on loan from Birmingham. They came in on deadline day, Peppel as well. So we've got plenty of striking options, not really high rated ones though, which might be good to be fair, it might push us on to progress. And before we jump into simulation, which is what I'm going to do to start off with, we will go and see the finances, which we have 1 million of, because I've just sent the scout out for the year, so that's a big chunk out, but at least we've already done it. As is a big thing here, which I do like, the expenses and income. Now chart it is, which is a bit more easier to understand, I would say, as it doesn't really show us the budget though, does it? As I can click on check all. I don't really know what that does. I'll, I'll leave it as it is. Tells us weekly spend and everything. As I've got the players set for training, let's go into this and see how we do. Let's progress into our first day as Crimson Manager. As Luke Waterfall's welcomed us. Definitely an exciting future, Lukey boy. Let's go into it. Now straight away, a transfer offer for us goalkeeper as well. Max Crockham. I know how it all goes. Don't have to tell me. As he's decent money. A team back in Asia, of course, which is from New Zealand, that continent. But I am going to reject that one. I want to keep as goalkeeper here. As we're at his first game here as well today at the Johan Cruyff Arena. Grimsby Town face off against Port Vale. As I'm going to show you the team I've built and the formation that I've gone with. Similar to real life, we've gone with a 4-4-1-1 with a shadow striker in that lineup. And this is the team. We've got Max Crockham in goal, Michi Afete, Luke Waterfall, Andy Smith and Anthony Glennon at left back. We're going to trust the versatile Harry Clifton at the left-hand side of midfield where he has been playing lately in real life. Gavin Holohan, Bryn Morris and Jordan Maguire Drew is on the right with John McAtee supporting Ryan Taylor up front who's got a lot of strength for a small player. Didn't even know he was left-footed. That shows you how much of a fan I really am as the bench is um, like this, so it's not the highest. It's a bit of a mixed bench, of course. We'll mix it up for every preseason game, which we'll skip straight through. We just want to get transfers done today, and I do like to play the first game of the season. I have to let you guys know that as we'll play this match. These are simulated. We always simulate the first one. We're going to do it with a quick sim as well. Port Vale, League Above. How does it get on? It's a 2-1 defeat, which isn't the worst start. Narrow margins. Garrity with their goal as Ryan Taylor got one four minutes after, but Ojo ultimately got Port Vale the win. As we're going to change it up a little bit for this next game, you can see some rotations, even though Maguire Drew's on a yellow card. I'm going to play him. I want to try and get, of course, my main team fitter than the reserves, but I do want to give everyone a game. So there's some rotations, including Shawnee Pearson at the back. He's lacking on pace, but... Not lacking on quality, I would say, as we're going to simulate the next one. As a loan offer from fellow League 2 side, Newport County for Evan Curry. So I think this will be the first acceptable deal. He's on an £800 wage, which isn't much, and hopefully they pay it all, as he could get some League 2 experience. But as every slot is valuable in this team, we've got a big squad to say we actually are a League 2 outfit, as we're going to quick sim this one against the League 1 again, Cheltenham, and it's a 1-1 draw, Alfie May. The top scorer for the Robins scoring theirs just after half time, but Danilo Orsi with a late one. As so we've got a bit of a cut scene right here. This is an interesting one that I've never seen before. It's actually Evan Curry on his way out of the club on loan. We follow him out of the building. This is a weird cut scene, to be fair. As the, the first thing that annoys me is Grimsby isn't this classy at the moment in League Two as he walks out the door. As finally, the last lot of changes going in. A lot of people on the red diamond on the bench or in the starting lineup, because I'm not going to walk it through every time, but everyone should have got a game. As Exeter, another. We've played three recently promoted teams to League One, and that's not a great result for pre-season. Not really. Dieng, Harper, uh, Gnome, Dieng, uh, Bim Pebble with a goal. We call him Bim, if you didn't know that. And Smith with another, as it could have been six, but we avoid that. A rocky start, but we keep on moving on. We keep scouting, and we're going to get onto the first game this episode. In future, for future reference, if you're new around here, we do usually play three and simulate two every single episode, which I do plan on doing, but for today, it'll just be the one game. And as we simulate towards our first game of the season here against Tranmere, which in fact wasn't the first game IRL, but we'll be here. We've got two... Players coming into the academy, I'll promote every single one of them so far. I want to build up an academy 
that can go out and play. As I will look at the calendar, haven't actually checked that just as of late. We do have Tranmere to start off with. Bradford in the cup. Walsall, Stockport County. It's completely randomated. And Doncaster in the cup again in the uh, Papa John's, of course. Got the Papa John's trophy this first season. As I do think we might go in for a first signing straight away. As you can see, we've got a list here together. Not everyone I've checked the price of on this one, so some could be costly. Some have recently joined clubs as well, which is hard to sign the players. But one I do want to bring in, a New Zealand player. Of course, Max Crockham's from New Zealand. It's realistic to make a move across. I do like my realism. Nico Kirwan looks a good player. Right back, left back, right midfielder. Mitch Efforte, of course, I did say I might want to improve on. And, of course, it's adding to the squad. So, I feel like Nico Kirwan can be a good player as our first signing in any FIFA 23 save so far. And on this Grimsby RTG. So, we are going to go ahead and try and sign him straight away to the contract. I'll try with a rotational as he wants a crucial. Jeez, that's a big jump in his squad role. You know what? I'll give him it. He's 64 rated, although it's a big ask straight away to give a different player coming in a, a, a crucial role he he does look worthy of it as we'll give him a two-year contract which he does accept i don't want to go too long with contracts off the bat as i do want to try and close the wages down a little bit can we agree on 2k because i do i do want it to be rather small as it see i see the tension bar in the top corner going up which i'm a big fan of uh, the addition this year in career mode. So I'm going to offer 2k again. I can see it is building. But it hasn't been pushed just yet. I'm going to try and be very stubborn on it. it keeps going up. Try and upgrade the signing on bonus by 3k. But I do want that 2k wage. Which he just doesn't seem to be having. It's a lot for each week. 2.2. We could go for that one. He wants that 2.4. This is very stingy of me for my first signing. But I really do want to get this right. And I don't want to go overboard with the players. It looks like I'm on my last chance really, doesn't it? 2.3. Submit that. It's accepted. We got there before the tension built up. Nico Kirwan in the squad. He joins up with fellow teammates and of course our um, assistant manager it seems right there. Watching him do the medical. Very interesting to see all the players in the gym as well. Good addition. As I've done a little bit of research into him and it seems like in real life he does play his football or did. In the Italian Serie C. So, it's a bit of a realistic transfer. Third division in Italy. Fourth division in England. Of course, grassroots football over here. Uh, I don't know if he'll start the first game. As I'm trying to build a squad together to go into Tranmere. As to be fair, I think I might have it together. So, here we go. I'm not going to go straight to the media. I do want to go and see this team. This is the one I'm trusting. We're going to walk you through it. We've got Max Crockham in goal. For his first Skybet League 2 outing. And there's plenty more to come. Not just Skybet League 2. But you know what I mean. As Efforte is at right back. On thin ice at the moment. Straight away. As Waterfall, Smith and Glennon make up the back four. With Maguire, Drew, Bryn, Morris, Houlihan and Clifton in the midfield. With McAtee and Ryan Taylor. Now I don't understand why Morris is extremely fatigued. And I'm going to try and drop him back a little bit more than Houlihan. Can we drop him into that CDM? Not really, as I'll drop Houlihan a little bit back as well. A little bit of balance in that, as I want to push McAtee. Oh, I can't really push him any further forward. I'll just stick him in the middle cam position. He's injured in real life at the moment as well, which is a big shame. And, of course, on loan. After being permanent last year, as enough about the facts, we're going to go into the biggest fact of them all, which we do need to win this first game. As here, we've got the graphics. It's showing you everything right here. <laughs> oh, tense build-up. It's all going to kick off. I cannot wait to get going. Blundell Park awaits. And let's have a look at the stadium for the first time. The black and white netting. We've got it going. We've even got a TIFO out for the captain, Luke Waterfall. Blundell Park. First game of the season. This is it. This is FIFA 23. Even the Mariners TIFO's in the back. Like a kid in the candy shop for this game. As Joe Murphy is the captain and goalkeeper for Tranmere. Josh Dakers, Cogley, Tom Davis, Jordan Turnbull and... Dinell Simeu with Robin to make up a back five it is in fact with Morris, O'Connor and Lewis, Nevitt 
and Diabate as the striking too. As here we are, Tranmere are gonna kick us off at Blundell Park as away we go. FIFA 23 has officially hit us right now. We've got the classic camera angle. We've got the sliders on, which um, is free, frequent injuries, more frequent, of course, making it a bit more realistic. Um, what other ones have we got as well? We've got um, handball, offsides, strict referees, which I do like the addition of this year, because they're very strict in League 2, and they're very biased towards the away sides. Let's just say that from what I've experienced. There's Glennon down the wing to whip a ball straight in towards Ryan Taylor, trying to put his head towards that one. And we do want a good start to the season as the fish chants are starting around the stadium. They've got them in game. The fish chant, obviously... A big part of Grimsby, the three fish on the badge as Michi Fete. We've got to watch that run down the wing. Bryn Morris has got to come across a little bit as it's gone through. Now onto their striker, Nevitt. So I don't know what the up arrow's doing. They've got the shot off! And it's a brilliant save from Max Crockham to keep them out straight away. As a first corner here goes to Tranmere. It was a good save from the keeper. Whipped in, overhead kick flying in. As Andy Smith has managed to get that away onto Ryan Taylor who's running forward. He's got Clifton down the wing. Just overpassed. As here is a man in the middle with the ball right here. And the back heel, not really a great one as they've cut away a little bit. Ryan Taylor's gone through and Jordan Maguire-Drew has found a little bit of an option right here. The number seven this season, cutting inside. Can't really do it with it. And it sounds like Tranmere's trying to get some chance together as that upwards arrow. I think that's indicating that that is their strongest player on the field with the CPU control in it. I don't really like that feature, but we're going to have to let it slide as Taylor... In towards McAtee right here. That's a touch on towards the number eight, Gavin Houlihan. Now around the corner, John McAtee with the header. And saved by the keeper, Murphy. Almost an ideal start for the Mariners right there as we've got the ball back to the right back. Efete need a good switch of play and that's a good one over to Gleno, who takes good control of it, but very poor pass to be fair through the middle. And we're now on the back foot a little bit. John McAtee, 37 aggression in this game, by the way. I'm not a big fan of that because he is an aggressor. As the throw-ins to Tranmere, they've gone backwards. Press them, boys. Our first game back in the EFL. We really want to start it off with a bang as that's a back heel onto them. A pass around the corner. A bit of a gap to squeeze it through. And Tranmere take the lead at Blundell Park before half-time. And it's Morris, our namesake in the midfield, with a curler around Max Crockham. It's not going to be a clean sheet for the New Zealand one. Not a great start. Hyper motion graphic. It's Kieran Morris just running on side. Decent little graphics right there as it's a curler into the side netting. 1 0 down. Come on, boys. We're better than this as Maguire Drew. Can we try and threaten them a little bit before we go into half time as Taylor with good control has got it into John McAtee who's going to put it out wide into Harry Clifton. Taylor is in there. He's tackled, but we've still managed to get the ball. Gavin Houlihan likes a shot from range. It's gone in towards Brim Morris. Tried to get one off, but just unlucky as at half time in the first game here on FIFA 23, the first game of the Grimsby to Glory, it's 1 0 Tranmere. However, I am going to hold out on any changes to the lineup as I'm going to keep on going with it. I just think it was a, a well-worked goal from Rovers, so we need to get going. Jordan Maguire-Drew, Efferty not really making movement, but Taylor's got a bit of an option here. Can try and get in behind. Of course, it's a back five as he's going to pass this backwards in the middle to Maguire-Drew. On to John McAtee, looking for a bit of an option. Gavin Houlihan gets it on the edge. That's a tester to go for them ones as Max Crockham. He's going to lift it over to Mitch Yefate. Oh, he's asked a lot of him right there as he's won the header. And it's blasted down the line by Luke Waterfall. It's actually a brilliant ball into JMD. Now on to McAtee. Back into Ryan Taylor. He's got a little bit of a gap on the angle with the shot. And it's a brilliant save from the goalkeeper, Murphy. Very comfortable stop. Or uncomfortable, should I say, because they've got a corner. We'll pile the pressure on as we've got chance to make a change. Harry Clifton, big fan. As I think I'm going to push him in the middle for Morris. And I'm going to try and make him go a bit more forward. Because Morris is more defensive minded. And I'm going to give Otis Khan a game on the left. Maguire Drew can play on the left. But Khan's there. I know I've got Kanan on the bench. But I am going to opt for Khan. He's a permanent player. And I just want to see what he can do. As we're going to try the new corners of course now on the game. Uh, Maguire Drew is a common taker of these corners. We'll just try and put it in normally. Bit of curl. It's a good run from Glenno. Body in the way. Glenno with the shot. 
Bounce to the keeper. A big chance there. I think our biggest chance of the game so far is Andy Smith getting run at. And you know what? Tranmere have doubled it in this second half. It's a good shot at the near post from Nevitt. And now we are 2-0 behind against Rovers. Now, this is not good. You can tell it's a road to glory. It is a marathon, not a sprint. I say that very often. But that is a volley of high class, you know. Crockham's near post, not great. But still, first game back in the FL may end in defeat. We've got to put it in now. I'm changing the formation up. Ryan Taylor comes off. And Danilo Orsi, who scored in pre-season, of course, is going to get his chance in the league. As he hasn't really had it in real life. He had an injury. And I've gone to a flat 4-4-2. Him and John McAtee up front. You'll see that happen plenty of times, I think, when we're behind. As a run on here for the winger. Not a great ball from Khan, But we've still managed to win it. It's John McAtee looking for a turn, the number 10. He'll put this out to JMD, who's got chance to whip one in. He's got a good cross. Not on this occasion. Falls back to us. Chance to try and hit one! Oh, just wide from Harry. That's Harry Clifton, of course, and that's what he can do. He can hit a goal. He's got four this season already. As Otis can straight on this one. McAtee's got a bit of a gap. It's John McAtee over the bar. I'd say we haven't been in this game, but it does look like it's just improvements to be made as McAtee trying to run in behind, and he might get there. Rossi with the ball over the top, and John McAtee opens his account. It's 2-1 at Blundell Park. The first roar of EFL action right there for the Mariners fans. And it's the man who scored one of the goals to get us promoted. John McAtee on loan from Luton. What a volley back in the game. We're not going out without a fight as it's Gavin Houlihan who's won it in the middle. McAtee looking for inwards roads behind. But that's a good ball actually through the middle from Tranmere. Smith's come a long way to try and claim it. And it's on to Nevitt who uses Diabate at the side of him. We've got to watch ourselves. Not really long to go as Efforty... Let his man go a little bit there himself. And Harry Clifton to run forward a little bit here. Danilo Orsi trying to make a row in behind. But there's a road out here for, I think this is Glennon. Yes, it is. No one in the box, but we'll try and whip it in to absolutely no one. As I'm going to try and give Kirwan his debut in this game. But is the long enough to try and get him on? We've got three added minutes. And that's a ball in behind Smudge. Andy Smith is running backwards on Nevitt, who shoots... And Crockham with a good save, but it's gone behind. I don't think we'll really have time, you know. At least we've got the debut boy a couple of seconds, literally, on the field. So we don't want to concede right here. Header one. Not a great blast out. Volley on the edge of the box. It's still not one. A tackle in there, but yes, as I expected, not enough time. Our first game back in the EFL ends in a defeat for the Mariners. Tranmere 2, Grimsby Town 1. Still... Plenty of time to go. You can hear the chants going through the stands, which I absolutely love. And we move on to the next one. Unlucky from us, as we move on to the Carabao Cup next anyway against Bradford, who are actually a team in this league. As I think this has been an eventful first episode. If you're new around here, I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, kind of video that we've gone for, of course. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe as thank you all for watching. This unfortunately is the end. I hope you have enjoyed the first episode of a FIFA 23 save with, of course, the club I support. and very close to my heart, quite literally with the badge. It means the world to me that they're back in FIFA and I can make these videos. As, of course, you might see we're on 7,000 subscribers-ish. We are aiming to get as high as possible. And you're seeing this on the 27th of September, which... Is the opening day of FIFA 23 and also my birthday. So thank you very much for tuning in on this day. Makes me very happy as I will see you guys all later for the next one. Thank you very much. Take care in a bit and peace.